Men of Reddit, would you go for vasectomy once you're done having kids if not why? I got the snip after my third, but my marriage failed after, and I've been overlooked by a few potential partners who still wanted kids. That's fine, I still don't want any more. I did, and it was the best decision ever. Sex is worry-free all the way to the end and the next day. Yep, I'm married and I have had all the kids I wanted. I had the snip last year. Best decision my wife is super happy she's no longer having to take oral contraceptive. I'm actually heading off to the urologist now to get a second opinion because my balls still hurt after surgery over two months later. I feel like there were a couple red flags with the original doctor did two rounds of antibiotics too, so not sure what's going on. Do your research on a reputable doctor facility would be my recommendation? Yep. Did it. Wife almost died after the second kid, and I don't want more kids and don't want to get my wife pregnant. Easy choice. People saying after kids, a lot of people get this because they don't want children. I had a vasectomy without having kids. I like telling people I chose to sleep in every weekend for the rest of my life. I would, in fact, me and my wife, and I have been talking about me getting one because we don't want any more kids. It's easier than a woman getting her tubes tied and quicker as well. My husband is going to. I'm coming off birth control to try and fix some medical issues I'm having, so that is the safest thing we can do to avoid having more kids. I don't have kids and I don't want any, so I got a vasectomy. Best decision of my life. Yes. I have a 10 year old, I got lucky and he's a good one, don't ever want another child. I phoned up for a procedure the other week. Thought I was being really clever when I told the receptionist I wanted to get the ball rolling on a vasectomy she was not amused. In any case my country's health service is utterly fucked and it's a 16 month waiting list for an initial consultation. I gave up. I did. Though fear kept me from it for far too long. It was quick. The entire procedure from walking into the office to back in the car was less than 45 min. Mostly painless. And recovery was quick. I was feeling okay in about 3 days, but your nuts look horrible for about another week. If you don't want kids do it. I did. Literally took 10 minutes. Less uncomfortable than going to the dentist. If anything, made our sex life even better. And why? Because when two of the most fertile people in the world get married, babies are going to result. All I had to do is give my wife a smoldering glance and wham a new tax deduction was coming along roughly 40 weeks later. Yes one I've got a kid, one is enough, I can't afford the one so why have another? To me partner F is on BC, but it isn't the greatest for her, or me because when I accidentally tap her IUD not often it isn't fun 3 women's rights and autonomy are important to me. I would hate for us to be in a situation however extremely unlikely where she is pregnant and unable to terminate because of a shift in policy. My process will be reversible if I want it I don't and easy to do. For him not splitting up with my gal anytime soon I hope. But if I ever do, it closes off one group of ladies and secures a different one. If someone wants a family, I am most definitely not the one. If someone is wanting to have a healthy adult relationship with responsible partner, I'm your guy. Yes. It's a lot easier for me to have a vasectomy and recover than to put my wife through the pain of surgery. I developed post-vasectomy pain syndrome due to the built-up pressure, along with a slew of other complications. I went from being an athlete to being unable to walk to the mailbox. Two years and two reversals later, I'm pain-free, but out almost 20k because reversals even for pain relief are usually not covered by insurance. Make sure you research all of the complications beforehand. I reached my goal of zbo kids and the all snip snap. Best decision ever. I did, we have three kids and it was clear there wouldn't be a fourth. It's a super quick procedure followed by one or two days of discomfort. So it's much easier and cheaper than whatever birth control method my wife could go on. There were two pre-procedure meeting, but the procedure itself took all of 10 minutes. There is no loss of libido or manhood or whatever other weird thing you may hear. The only thing I would say is to find a place to that no scalpel procedures instead of the older way of doing it that required sutures on both testicule. Much quicker, less risk of complications and much less painful when the local anesthetic wears off. I did as my wife needed to come off pill for medical reasons. Did it. Wife told me we would have more sex afterwards. That was a lie. Have ongoing ball pain that becomes excruciating a few times a year and that's been going on for like 12 or 13 years now. Frankly, I didn't have a problem with condoms and my wife never has been on birth control in her life. Would I do it again? That's a very tough call to make.